All right, so if you watched the last episode, this is the Conway Narrows. So that direction is Lennox Island, and that direction would be the Black Banks. I think it's it's about 10 or 15 miles from end to end. Oh, when I get home, I'll map it on the computer and check for sure. Okay, so our goal is to take these stairs and age them the same as the cabin. So we got some of the finest steel wool, double zero, that's the finest I could get. And uh, we're gonna shove it in this vinegar. It needs to soak in this vinegar for probably a day or two. So we'll, uh, we'll shove it in there as much as we can fit. Now we'll let that sit for about two days. All right, this is Biddeford. We're getting ready to go out that way. That'll take us to Lennox Island. We gotta go around the point basically and on to Conway Narrows. It's running like shit again. So in order for the vinegar and steel wool stain to work on spruce, we need to help it along. So this coffee stain that I made while we're in the house, we'll just give the whole thing a coat. It's just instant coffee that I use. From what I understand, there's some woods like this is juniper. This didn't need any coffee stain. Whatever the, the tannins, what they call it in the wood, reacts with the vinegar and iron to make that dark finish. But the spruce doesn't do that naturally because it doesn't have enough of the tannin in it. This coffee kind of, uh, makes up for it. This is the same thing I did with the whole cab and I sprayed the whole thing with coffee and tea actually. See some places in the plywood where it's darker. Whatever was in the plywood reacted more and then you can see like there's strips of it there and there's another example right up there. You can see how there's a dark vein in it so it doesn't react evenly which gives it a more natural look I think. <laughs> So that's the Conway Narrows. We're right in the mouth of it. Lennox Island right there. This thing's giving me grief again.
All right, let's see how this goes. You can see I did a little test spot with my finger here <clears throat> earlier this morning, so we know it's going to have a reaction. I probably should have swept the treads off, but it ain't really going to matter. Just to add character. girl's not happy. Hi, how you doing? Good, what fun. Yeah, so far. Yeah. This is awesome. And, and you just went like... I you know, just need three inches of water. Yeah. Oh my god, and you made that yourself. Yeah, I used to fly that. That's a paramotor. Do you live around here? No, uh, Tignish. So I'm sailing all the way from Biddeford to Mont Rose. So you're going all the way home with this? Yeah. I've been working all summer for this trip. Oh yeah? And what, how fast does it go? Well, I've had a GPS says 25 miles an hour, but today it's, I don't know, it's up and down. Oh, that sucked. I'm soaking wet. It's running right down the crack of my arse. We got some in there that filled that crack. And then we heated the piss out of it here because I think what's going on, we welded this so many times that it's not the same shape anymore. Going to rebuild this whole exhaust um, probably this winter, but we've got one trip right now we're going to do before the summer's over. Pete. I don't know if the camera will pick it up there off in the distance. You can see there's plumes of uh, basically dust. Those are peat moss farms or a peat moss farm all the way off there. So we're we're basically we've accomplished it but we've still got a long way to go. So from the Black Banks now we're going to sail across Cascapec Bay. We're going to sail across over and take the Sand Hills home. Let's start leg number two. So these are our trip totals. We did an average of 11 miles an hour, maximum speed of 28 miles an hour. I don't know where I hit that speed, but I'll take it. Distance, we did 29.77 miles. So we did 30 miles and it took us two hours and 47 minutes, but I spent some time pissing around. It says somewhere, moving time, an hour and 44 minutes idle time so I spent an hour pissing around um, I'm pretty happy with that so it's been about two weeks now since we gave it that first coat of uh, vinegar and steel wool solution uh, you can see it's turned pretty well doesn't quite match the cabin yet it's a little bit more uh, gray or blue than than brown so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it another little shot. I have some left over, we'll give it a squirt and then uh, we'll check in on it probably on the next episode. And then hopefully we'll get this thing loaded up and on its way to, uh, on its way out to the ocean so we can go do some bass fishing. What are you doing?